What if I give you just two random terms? I tell you I'm thinking of an arithmetical sequence. And let's suppose that the 15th term is 6 and the 17th term is 2. How can I find out a formula for the sequence in general? I tell you it's arithmetic. OK, if I tell you it's arithmetic, what would I do? Well, I know the formula. The formula is a n equals a 1, the first term, times n minus 1 times that difference. If I plug this fact in, what do I know? When n equals 15, I know this number must be 6. a 15 is 6. So I'd see 6 equals a 1 plus, and then what's n minus 1? Well, if n is 15, this would be 15 minus 1, which is 14 d. So there's a fact, but I don't know what a1 is or d is. Those are, still, those are still unknowns. But I know this fact. I know that a17 equals 2. So that means that if this thing will be 2 when n equals 17. So that means that equals a1 plus, and now I put in a 17 minus 1, which is 16, d. Well, look what I have. I have two equations in two unknowns. We know how to solve that now. We can actually figure out exactly what a1 is and what d is. So what would you do? Well, one thing you can do, for example, is just uh, let's subtract these equations. So I'm going to use the elimination method right out of the get-go. If I subtract these equations, I see 6 minus 2 would be 4. a1 minus a1 is 0. 14 minus 16 is negative 2d. So if I solve for d, I see that d must equal, if I divide through by 2, negative 2. And then what would, what would a1 be? Well, I would just take negative 2 and plug it back into one of these things here. If I plug it back into here, for example, I would see that 6 equals a1 plus negative 2 times 14, which would be minus 28. So if I take minus 28 and bring it to that side, I see that a1 equals uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 34. So in fact, just knowing two terms in arithmetical sequence, even if they're not the first two, I actually know everything. I start off with 34, and then at every level I deduct 2. The negative sign means I subtract 2. So this sequence looks like this, 34, then 32, because I subtract 2 each time, then 30. So this is a sequence that's going to be decreasing. Then 28, and then 26, and so on. And it turns out if you keep going, the 15th term will be 6. And then what's the 16th term? It's going to be 6 minus 2, which is 4. And the 17th term is 4 minus 2, which is 2. And there's that. So just knowing two terms, you can set up an equation, two equations and two unknowns, and you can actually solve that. And by solving it, you can actually find out this sequence exactly. Give these a try and enjoy basic arithmetic sequences.